Hello, everyone. This is Spring Porter with Spring Solutions, LLC. Happy Memorial Day to everyone out there. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the state of New Jersey and the state of Massachusetts as it pertains to unclaimed funds in bankruptcy cases. Please note that I actually have created a video similar to this uh, towards the beginning of my channel, and it's probably buried somewhere in the beginning of my video list. So for anyone who's new to my channel or new subscriber, I'm just going to go ahead and recreate it. Um, these two states in particular are unique in that they're not listed in the funds locator and their lead list is not in a PDF file under the search bar engine on their websites. So if you're interested in working in these two states, please stay tuned. Please note that I am not an attorney. This is not indicated as legal advice. This is for people who are finders, asset locators, or maybe a paralegal or legal assistant wanting this type of information. Okay. So if you start with the funds locator and you look for New Jersey, you're not going to find it. You'll see New Hampshire, you'll see New Mexico, you won't see New Jersey. So I'll post the link of that video in the description box if you can watch that one as well. I actually called the clerk's office and it was really frustrating trying to get this information. So I'm going to save you that headache of having to do that. So once you see that they're not listed here, you would usually go to the court website and it would probably be in a PDF file under unclaimed funds. But on this site, it's not here. You see the notices and you see, you know, the instruction packet, which is fine. You don't see your list. So what you need to do is if you're going to be doing uh, bankruptcy unclaimed funds, you're going to have to have a PACER account. You're going to have to have a CMECF account um, so that you can pull documents and you can retrieve them. Again, some of those documents are needed when you are um, filing an application for unclaimed funds. So you would go to this court website, click here, e-filing. Now you're not filing anything, you're just re pulling a report and it's not gonna charge you to pull this report, but you have to set up a login first. So you go to the e-filing system, It'll bring you here, and I've already logged in, so it brought me straight here. And this is um, the District of New Jersey document filing system. Although it says filing system, you're not filing anything. You are just pulling a report. So next to query, you'll see report. And then unclaimed funds is located in the second one from the bottom. So you click on that, and it brings you to this report page. Now you can sort by amount because you're not going to have a creditor name. Unless you want to search by creditor name, you could do that. If you wanted to search for IRS or Bank of America or whatever creditor you would like, you can. I think it's probably a smart idea to choose either case number or choose amount. So I'll pick maybe just $5,000. So this will show me all the claims that are $5,000 or more. I think you should change the status. You don't want to see statuses that are pending and you don't want to see statuses that have already been paid out. So maybe one that have none would probably, that's probably the better way to go. Next, uh, I would change the date. If you want to look at unclaimed funds from 1960, by all means, go for it. I think it's pretty sad that there are unclaimed funds that are here from 1960. That is insane. You could just do from 2015 if you like. Let's change it to 2000, January 2015. Or maybe let's go down. Let's say 2010. Let's just do like a 10 year window. So we clicked amount. We clicked, we typed in the minimum amount that we want. And then we've unchecked pending and paid boxes. So now it's just showing you the, the statuses they don't have a status update. And then you change the date. So let's run report from there. And this is your list for $5,000 and this 10 year period. So here are your case numbers. On the left here, you have the creditor's name right here. You have the amounts listed toward the middle. You have the date that it was entered. And again, these have no statuses. And here it tells you that it's the creditor. So if I scroll down, and these some of these are pretty good numbers. This one's 51,000, and it doesn't look like it's that old. It was just entered in 2017. 
to some that are 49,000. So if I scroll all the way down, this is all of these claims total up to about almost $2 million, right? So there are a lot of claims that are here um, that you could potentially work. So from here on, you would plug in this case number in Pacer and you could, you know, start doing your research on trying to figure out if this is a good claim or not. All right. So this is how you get your lists in the state of New Jersey. All right. Now, this particular report, I don't believe you can tailor it any other way. Like, I don't think this pulls up to an Excel spreadsheet. Um, I think you just have to pick which ones you want and maybe work from here. You may be able to just screenshot it and just kind of scroll down and screenshot and uh, print like that if you'd like. I'm not sure how often this list is updated. I think it's just as things become entered, they probably just update it. So you have to do your own research if you need to know that information, because I'm not sure. But at any rate, this is where you are, right? This is what you have. So um, another thing that we can look at is their instruction packet. Now that's going to be listed here. If you go to the main site again, you click unclaim funds like we do to the other sites, you'll see their instructions. Now that part is the same. It's just the leads, finding the leads is not the same. So for the state of New Jersey, this is their instructions. And the application is what you need, the supporting documents, so on and so forth. This is similar. All right. And so, and this is what, where you would mail it to. There's an email address up here too, which is good. You can call. Um, the District of New Jersey has three different clerk's offices. One's in Newark, one's in Trenton, and one's in Camden. So there's three different locations. All right, so that is the state of New Jersey. Now the state of Massachusetts is... Let's minimize this and I'll show you that it's similar. So if I go back to the funds locator and I click MA, I'm going to see Maryland and Maine. I'm not going to see that state. So we go to their website, which is just mab.uscourts.gov. And again, unclaimed funds, if you go to the search bar engine and you search it, it's just going to pull up, you know, the documents that you need. So if I go back and I log in here, it's the same link. It's eFilingCMECF. I click that link and then it brings me here. And then you go to reports and unclaimed funds. It's the fourth one down this time on this site. And so here it looks similar. You can search by amount. We can stick with our 5,000 minimum. And then this default is a little bit later. It's 2001. So maybe we can click 2015. Oh, we'll stick with a 10 year window. Let's do 2010. All right, so we click run. And then this is your list for the state of Massachusetts for the $5,000 or more. And then for that 10 year window. And here you have it. And it's similar as the case numbers on this side, the creditors in the middle amount, and then the date entered. And so this is your list. And so if we go down, we'll see that these claims total up to $868,000 and um, that is the amount for all of these together. All right, so this is what you would need to do. Um, again, the states of New Jersey and Massachusetts appear to be the only two where you have to actually log in and pull a report. The other ones are usually listed on their court's website. This one is just, these two are slightly different. They're a little special. And so if we go back to the state of Massachusetts and uh, we click unclaimed funds, we may be able to find the list. Yeah, here's your application right here. This is your instruction packets. The, you know, it shows you the same information, what kind of claimant you are, what kind of documents you need, and your application is down here. 
So that is what you need for these particular states. So if anyone out there who is looking for the state of Massachusetts or the state of New Jersey and you're unsure, I just saved you a, a long phone conversation with the clerk's office because this is where your list is. So if you're new to my channel and you're doing this, please send me um, a comment. Let me know how it's going in this, these two states if you're working them. And I hope this is helpful and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.